Hello, stunning fan. Michelle here. We're glad you stopped by. In today's video, we're upcycling an IKEA table and chair set that we found on Facebook Marketplace for free. The chairs and the table legs had been chewed up so badly by a small animal that there were gouges of it missing. Almost every leg was chewed in various degrees. The first thing that we did was to sand the varnish off the wooden seats and the tabletop. We started with 80 grit sandpaper, then we finished up the project with 220 grit sandpaper to give the table a nice smooth finish. Once all the wood tops were sanded, it was time to rebuild the chair and the table legs. We used DAP plastic wood filler to do this. We applied the filler with a small spackling tool and then we used it to kind of scrape it and make it somewhat even. Then we used our hands to actually mold the corners and build them back up to replace all the missing wood. Once the filler was completely dry, we used a piece of 220 grit sandpaper by hand to sand off the excess and gently sand the corners back into shape. Because the chair and the table legs had been so damaged and needed so much repair, we decided it would be best to paint all the bottom portion of the legs of the chairs and the table. We went with a light gray chalk paint. For all the wood on the tops of the chairs, we applied a light coat of an early American stain. Then we came back with some gray stain and some Kona brown stain to add some variations to the color tones of the wood. This was a bit of an artsy process and we just had to keep applying different coats until we reached the desired look we wanted. When starting on the tabletop, we actually flipped the process around. We started by using the darker accents of the gray, then we added a light coat of early American stain, and then we accented over top of that with the Kona brown stain. We finished off the table and the chairs with several coats of water-based polyurethane to seal the wood up really good. We are a lifestyle channel that features a variety of content from cooking, unboxing videos, to anything that can be a DIY style project. And we would really love it if you would like and subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified the next time that we decide to share one of our projects. And here is the finished product. Again, thanks for stopping by and have an amazing day.